Great. Hi all, how are you doing? Hope you're doing great wherever you are in the world. So uh, the other day or two days ago, I made a video about, so when he's ran from crypto banter firing miles. So miles had promoted along with like about 240 odd other people, this SAVM coin, which is a total scam coin. Um, it's got no project behind it. And he basically uh, bought whatever number of tokens at point one for $800, like everybody, like all the other scam fluencers did, and then sold them all at whatever, $6, okay, and made massive profits. And he was basically telling everybody to get on board this SAVM uh, and that kind of thing. Then Ran the next day did a video saying he didn't like that all these influencers would were shilling this project and it was so obvious to him that they were all part of the team okay and that they were going to get a uh, more tokens okay if they shield this project so this satoshi vm project so rans tweeted today hey fam been getting a lot of questions around miles deutscher and his future at crypto banter miles is leaving banter at the end of the month and will be streaming on his own channel we love miles deutscher and really appreciate all the hard work and content that he produced, I'm sure his channel will continue to grow. He is a young, smart guy. We'll continue watching his content and really do wish him all the success in the future. So clearly, he had no choice. Once he made that video run yesterday, he had no choice, in my opinion, but to get rid of Miles, okay? Because he was going against the grain. He was going against what Crypto Banter supposedly stand for, okay? Um, and he was going going against the grain. So he had no choice. He had to get rid of him. And now it doesn't say he got fired here, but with these things, it's, you know, you let someone go. It's the same thing as getting fired effectively. Okay. Uh, so crypto band uh, ran, had no choice, had to let him go. Now I wish the guy well. I'm, you know, I'm not like, oh, I hope he, something bad happens to him or anything like that. The guy is, uh, probably in his 20s or something. He's still a young kid, I think. Um, he's doing well for himself, and I'm sure he'll continue to do well. He does have quite a lot of knowledge in the crypto uh, sphere, much more than me, I'm sure. But he's also got a habit of uh, shilling projects, which are dubious, okay? So I hope he grows out of that and thinks about it. Maybe this episode will make him have a think about what kind of tokens he's going to shill in the future. We will see, all right? And maybe it'll, maybe Ran will think about the sort of tokens that he's going to shill and stuff in, in the future as well. Who knows? Now, if you go to the Crypto Banter site, they haven't updated their uh, thing because in the team thing, Miles Dosh is still here. Okay, so he's still part of the team. So just a little reminder, guys, you need to update your uh, website. Okay, the About Us Crypto Banter team, you uh, need to update that. So there we have it. He has done... He's done the right thing, okay? He had no choice, okay? Um, so for the good of his company, he's he's got to be seen doing the right thing. Now, some people may have been saying, oh, you know, Rand maybe was behind this and trying to get Miles to do these kind of things. Who knows, okay? But whatever, whatever, whatever was going on behind the scenes, who knows if Miles was operating on his own or if uh, Rand was saying, do these things. The thing is that still smells is obviously ran was saying he likes he still likes his savm project or he was saying it the other day now whether he's changed his tune who knows but he was also he also said that they dumped a load of their tokens at times 300 and he was asking well who wouldn't if you got 300 prof 300 times profit you'd have to be mental to not take profit so i mean there is a there is a big argument for that okay um but it's the way that you've done it, okay? And it's the way this whole project have done it. It stinks to high heaven, okay? And it reflects on you, okay? It reflects on your business and the per and the people who are in your business, in my opinion. So there we go. Uh, he's gone, done and dusted, I guess. Let's see how he uh, progresses in future. Let's see what kind of projects he shills in the future. All right, I'm out. Hope you have a good rest of the day.